This is Andy. This is a Mercruiser 140 horse, 3 liter, 1979 engine, and I just put in a Delco electric or electronic distributor with its coil and I just wanted to go over the wiring because it's really confusing and I didn't find great explanations anywhere. So this thing's pretty easy to install and again this was an old point system and um, the purple wire goes to your your run you're basically your plus 12 as you're running so you do not need your ballast resistor anymore your resistor wire this is just going to be plus 12 when you're running. Now, I've got a couple other things hooked up here um, my electronic choke or electric choke and then also this other wire is going to the starter so when you crank the starter it sends plus 12 also um, for the older point system i'm not sure how important it is for this system but i'm just going to leave it in there for now so very simple on the coil the the plug that goes to the coil purple is plus 12 and then you've got the gray wire and this is just for your tachometer so in this case I've got it hooked to this brown wire and my brown wire goes into my uh, connector over here and this is for tachometer so that part is really simple to get wired up the most confusing thing is this timing loop or this timing pigtail and it's also used for shift interrupt if you remember on the old point systems, you had a shift interrupt um, someplace on your motor. When you would shift, it would close a circuit and, and momentarily ground out the points. So the system is different with this new Delco system. Um, and the difference is that when you want the shift interrupt to work, you have to send plus 12 into this black wire. And this black wire is on the larger pigtail on the distributor so to kill the engine temporarily you have to give it plus 12 volts it would be nice if they would have made this red instead of black but it needs plus 12 so how i wired this up is from my positive i've got this red wire coming out here and eventually these two pigtails will will connect to my shift interrupt so basically when i'm shifting momentarily when that switch closes it'll kill the engine it'll send plus five and send that to the engine and in order for this to work these two white jumpers or the this white this loop right here you've got to cut that and that's got to be separated and then if you want to set your engine in timing mode you put it together so let me just show you the shift interrupt and then we'll talk about the timing mode so in normal running operation we have to be sending plus 12 to this when we want to when we want to momentarily kill the engine so i've got my um I've got my thing hooked up. I've got plus 5 volts going into here into my red, which is going to go into my blue, into my coil. I'm all set. Turn on my ignition. And the engine is running. So, for that shift interrupt, once I do this, this is like closing my mechanical switch. It should send 12 to that black wire, and it should temporarily kill the engine. So that's how the shift interrupt works you know you just get that temporary like you normally used to okay so let's talk about timing to time your motor what you have to do is we have to connect the white and then we have to connect this and just a note about the white I'm gonna stop this for a second I'm gonna connect it first and they say that you should have it running first before you put into timing mode so I'm gonna connect the white pigtails and then I'm going to run it, and then I'm going to connect this and send plus 5 in there. And you'll notice once I do this, it will not kill the engine. So when we go into timing mode, these two whites are connected, and plus 5 is sent into this, and now it's in timing mode again. That's why you have to have the disconnect here. Is once you're out of timing mode, your shift interrupt will, will not work if you're, you, the two whites are connected. So let me just set this down for a sec. So I've connected my white. I'm going to hook my timing light on number one. My timing light's all going here. And now I'm going to start this without connecting the shift disconnect. And now that my, my white loop is connected in there, as you can see, it will not kill the engine. Now my engine's still running. So again, with the white connected, your shift interrupt will never work. And for my timing, I'm setting mine, I don't know if you can see it, the original spec is six degrees before top dead center. The manual says zero, but that's for the newer engines. I'm gonna keep mine at six um, because it does not advance very far. And what's supposed to happen is now that it's in this timing mode, if I advance the throttle, it's not supposed to advance the, um, the timing. I'm just gonna check and see. I don't know if I can do this with the camera. 
I'm going to try to show this. If anything, it, it as you increase, the, the timing almost goes in the opposite direction. So I guess you got to have the right RPM. I might be a little bit high for this. I think it's around 500. I'm probably at about 900 right now. So I'm going to double check this. But I'm going to leave mine set to this RPM. And again, if I disconnect this white loop, the engine will kill because now I've got the shift interrupt going. So I've disconnected the white loop. I still got my shift interrupt. So now it should not it should not start until I disconnect this. And again, now I'm back to my number. Everything works, and then I've got my shift interrupt. Will kill the engine. And again, that weight loop needs to be open. So that is the whole purpose of this. It's close it for set timing, put in 12 volts to set timing, keep this open, put in 12 volts to, to kill the engine momentarily. And that's about it. And I think the biggest issue I'm going to run into is just getting the timing, and I'm a little worried about... It might not advance the timing enough to get full RPM, but once I get it on the water, we will see. So I hope you find this is helpful, and I will see you online.